Boom, welcome back to Mount MoGraph. As always, my name is Matt. In today's video, I want to go over what's new and improved in Motion Studio. This is the initial release of version one. The monthly rolling updates are gonna get a lot cooler as we go, but if you're a Motion 4 user, you're still gonna have support and get new tools from time to time. But most of the stuff we're gonna build moving forward is gonna be for Motion Studio. Would really appreciate the support. So let's dive in. One of the key features of Motion Studio is the five explodable extension panels that you can open or keep docked or closed, whatever you want for wherever you are in your production pipeline. And more space means more tools. Speaking of more tools, we also added the motion color extension for Adobe Illustrator. For a lot of years, we had requests to build tools for different applications, and we thought, why not? Let's build color for Illustrator. So please let us know what you think, and if you want to see anything added. Next up, we have something both very big and very small, the brand new motion mini system, which is a tiny little satellite extension that you can customize with tools, preferences, and systems, and pretty much anything else you can imagine in Motion Studio, you can add to these minis, including your own color swatches or easing swatches, and you can change the colors or super specific tool actions and names, whatever you need, and then you can set this mini to active, which is super handy. Next up, we actually have a user request for a new tool called Crop to Layer. So any of the objects that you have selected, you can click Crop to Layer, and the composition is going to be trimmed to whatever objects or objects that you had selected. This works for any kind of object or layer and anything you have selected. Shout out to the users who requested this. If you like to keep your project assets organized, you can now use the Sort tool in a couple different ways. The classic Sort tool that sorts all of your assets at once in your project panel can now also be focused to just a selected folder, or the new addition is being able to create and sort subfolders for your entire project in pretty complex ways, just like a normal folder of hierarchy and path. So that's a pretty nice upgrade for organization. And the last item inside of the initial release for Motion Studio is being able to stagger keyframes within your layer groups on a single layer. The limitation before for stagger was that the keyframes had to be on separate layers, but now you can change the type to keyframe and still change all of the intervals and graph adjustments for beautiful staggers on your key keyframe groups on a layer. And that's what's new and improved with Motion Studio in the initial release. Be back soon. Peace.